Centuries ago, European cities played a special role. Life concentrated around castles, and the walled cities provided protection for people in times of threat. Things began to change in the 17th and 18th centuries. Cities expanded to become craft and service centers for surrounding villages. The same development process, though with slight differences, took place in the Varmia and Mazuria region. Town functions in this beautiful area, behind me you can see a lake and a post-glacial landscape, developed slightly differently. Towns in this region never grew into large cities and did not acquire a purely urban character until the 20th century. Many of the residents were farmers who cultivated fields outside the town walls. With the passing of time, city life began to change because the villages changed. Tiny farms developed into highly industrialized, modern farm enterprises. Can this form of agriculture do without cities? What do city residents need? What should a modern city be like? The world today is like a huge supermarket. We have a big choice of possibilities and so people want to be able to choose where to live. It doesn't have to be a large city. The idea of Cheetah Slow is to improve the quality of life in small towns as opposed to large agglomerations and metropolises where life is becoming unbearable. Small towns offer such assets as good communication routes, easy access, peace and life close to nature, the things large cities cannot provide. Nobody questions these assets, they are of value in themselves. But in order to develop, small towns must offer their residents a high quality of life. What is more, they must have a function for today and for tomorrow. They must answer a question about their future, what will they become in 15 or 20 years? Cheetah slow towns are towns of the future, where slow pace and quality of life represent a major value. The Varmia and Mazuria region, where agriculture and tourism prevails, have all the assets to meet the challenge. Let's see what prospects lie ahead. Reschel, a town in Kenshin province. It is called the Pearl of Varmia and Mazuria architecture. Reschel's historical tissue is visible right upon arriving. The town has a beautiful market square, a central town hall and tenement houses. You can feel the breadth of history everywhere. This small town boasts 80 historical monuments. 
Russia enjoyed good fortune until the beginning of the 19th century. A fire broke out within the walled town and it was completely destroyed. However, its residents survived and managed to save some of their property. They started to reconstruct their homes on old foundations, creating a strange architectural concoction, a 19th century town built on a medieval plan. The town layout has been preserved until today. It is a challenge to protect historical tissue and create comfortable living space. Reschel has a comprehensive revitalization plan. Residents should enjoy a comfortable life in a historic environment. When there is not much green space and the streets are very narrow. The point is to turn that into an asset. And to make the tourists feel at home. In Reschel, even signboards have a distinct style. Our revitalization efforts aimed at livening up the stone town. Flower beds, stylish signboards and nice shops contribute to that. The town, together with its towering castle, form a unique picturesque whole. No wonder Rachel attracts tourists. But they look for something more than just beautiful sights. A high-quality culinary offer is a must. We visit the castle kitchen, where all dishes are made according to traditional recipes. We don't have any high-tech kitchen appliances, and we make everything the old traditional way. Our cooks prepare food just like their mothers and grandmothers used to do. We look for old recipes and use them. The recipes are not everything. Products are important. We use local products. We buy flour from a local miller and bread from a local baker. People love our rachel bread. We get fresh fish from a nearby fish farm in Mrongovo. It is much easier to cook using frozen semi-products, but the quality is not the same. Our clients get their food fresh from the pan. Try yourself. Original food made from local products is one of the distinguishing features of cheetah slow towns. It is important to apply natural and environment-friendly technologies in the production process. The idea of Cheetah Slow was inspired by the successful slow food movement as an opposition to the expansion of fast food all around the world. Fast food is associated with fast life, stress and strain. At one point, people stopped and said, wait a minute. Worth tasting in Reschel is the local bread baked in a traditional 100-year-old tile stove. We don't use any chemicals or additives. It's just bread, pure and simple. Country-style rye and whole meal made from sourdough. The 
Let the bakers do their job while we check on what is called the urban quality of life. The closely built center is surrounded by an urban park. It is a unique, vast green complex. We sit and chat. It's like a spa here. This opinion is shared by residents and visitors alike. Tourists strolling or riding along Russian streets feel very welcome here. It is the most beautiful town in the world. Tourists are captivated by it. With the water well for one thing, water, time and life flow at their own pace in Russia. Slowly, but accurately, with a dose of romanticism and slight reserve. I get very tired when I go to a large city. So come and spend your holidays here. Before World War II, Bischtinek was called Bischofstein. It took its name from this huge stone, which some people call bishop or devil stone. In the past, it used to be a meeting place. Today, people prefer parks. Public green space is an important factor in urban life. It is a place where people gather, relax and play. All public parks, large or small, must be designed to meet the needs of residents. We are modernizing existing parks, planting new perennial and annual plants. The town has access to broadband internet. Slow doesn't mean backward. That says a lot. These towns make wide use of modern technologies to improve everyday life. Especially in such areas as sewage treatment, waste segregation and renewable energy.